Good morning. Hello, Monday the 1st of June. Wakey, wakey, rise and shine. Here we are. <laughs> what a stunning morning. Um, yeah, so here we are this morning with a gardener's back and shoulder RSI recovery session. Basically, for the last few weeks, well, since, since the um, spring started really, clients are texting me all the time saying, oh, I've hurt my back and I'm thinking, oh no, what have you done? Is it Pilates? Have you overdone it? It's always gardening. It is always you gardeners, and um, I don't get time to garden myself, but I do understand that it's all this bending, the kneeling, all of that, it's just wrong, isn't it? So this morning, we're gonna spend the 15 minutes um, doing a little loosening session for the shoulders and a lovely stretch for your back. So hopefully that's gonna feel great and set you up for your day. And I'm just gonna pop my um, phone on here so that I can see if there's any lovely messages from you all this morning. And uh, check, of course, that I'm live too. Where are we? There, there I am. <laughs> Wonderful. So if you've got any little messages, hello, Tracy. Yeah, if you've got any little comments this morning, pop them down because I can see them right there. And um, we'll get started. So we've got time. So I was doing these little tasting sessions at lunchtime since we've been in lockdown. But um, people are back to work now, so it's early. Early bird catches the worm. So we're up and at it. Monday and Wednesday mornings. Seven o'clock with some exercise. Okay, right, let's get ourselves in position and we are gonna do some shoulder rolls. So one of my ladies particularly, I thought actually mainly it's been backs that have hurt it, uh, been hurting, but shoulders as well. So let's loosen up the shoulders and what better thing to do on a Monday morning now than to just get mobilized and ready for the week ahead. Excellent, and it's easy to get up at the morning, at the moment, isn't it? Because it's so light. So we've got to all condition ourselves again to get up and at it. Brilliant, right, so we're circling our shoulders up to our ears and back. Brilliant, then the other direction. So I see people in class doing this look, moving arms. Move your shoulders, lift them up to your ears and back. Fabulous, and then both arms up and round. So on the way round, don't let your back arch or your hips push forward like this. Brace your core in and take the arms back. Lovely. And you might be feeling some clicks and crunches here. And the other direction. So pull the arms up and forward without letting the spine move. You're bracing the core in, you're pinching the pelvic floor. Brilliant, and then my favourite move of all, the figure of eight. So go nice and wide on your stance and draw a figure of eight with the arms. The eight is on its side. <laughs> Lovely, now this is the one that I love and I could stand here for ages doing this. How nice does that feel on the shoulders? So you've still got your core braced in, you're pinching your pelvic floor. Great. And then we're gonna twist very gently side to side. Brace your core in and very gently twist. You don't want to do this crazy twist like that. You might tweak your spine, so very gently just twist on the legs side to side. Right, okay, push one arm up, other arm up, down. One, other, down. Push it up, push and down. Push, push, down. So other side first, push and down. And down, just loosening and mobilising the shoulders. Now both arms at the same time for eight. Ooh. Five, six, seven. So they're feeling much warmer now, I'm sure. Then we're going to retract the shoulders. So with anything, particularly gardening, you're bending over, you're rounding your back. We want to retract back into a beautiful position. So with straight arms, Push your shoulder blades back and towards each other. Oh, I can see some of you have woken up now. <laughs> Morning. Who have we got here? Bob Taylor. Georgina. Vicky, hello. Vicky, I did my course with you, Vicky. I don't know if you remember all those years ago with Rachel Holmes. <laughs> so we're retracting the shoulders here, pushing them back and towards each other and recovering yourselves from gardening or whatever you've been up to. My sister hurt her back at the weekend. Hopefully you can do this. OK, 
Caroline, and just get loosened up. Right, we are going to twist our hips. So go wide, brace your core, and move the whole body. Bit of gyrations for this Monday morning. That's it, twist. Hello Claire as well. And the other direction. So twist those hips. Brace your core. And I'm just, as I said, if you come on late, we're doing a gardener's back and shoulder recovery session this morning because all of my clients are complaining with aching backs. Lovely. Now we're going to just gently lift one leg, then the other. So we're loosening, we're mobilizing the spine a little bit now, warming it up, ready to get down and do some wonderful stretches. So if your back's really twingy, just lift the leg a little bit. But by doing this lift, we're stretching the lower back. You're having a little bit of a balance as well. So brace your core, then lift. Lovely. Brace your core, then lift. Excellent. And now we're going to twist the neck. So twist head side to side. Because I'm sure if your shoulders are aching, so is possibly your neck. That's it, side to side, and then ear to shoulder, drop it down. Fabulous. And then reach down one side and brace your core to stand tall. Then the other side and brace your core. So weaker back, just reach a little way. You don't need to push it. Never feel any pain in your lower back with any exercises, by the way. So never pushing through. Lovely. Okay, we're going to stretch up to the ceiling. So push one shoulder blade up, then the other. So you're not leaning side to side. I'm just pushing one shoulder blade up, then the other. Feeling a lovely stretch all around the scapula. At the back there, your shoulder girdle. Then arms behind you and lift them up. So a nice stretch, uh, um, chest stretch. So we don't want you to arch your back and stick your chest forward. Just lift the arms, tiny bit. And then the lovely stretch, hugging the sun. So bend the elbows, drop your head, push forward. So you're bending the knees a little. And this is starting now to stretch the back of the body. And this one should feel good. And you can, again, push one shoulder blade forward, then the other. Can you see I'm just very gently pushing one shoulder blade forward, then the other. Fabulous. Right, I'm going to twist my mat round, and then we're going to get down onto the mat. Now, normally and ordinarily, I would do a roll down to get down. But because this is a, um, a back recovery session, I'm assuming people might have a weak back this morning. So we're going to just literally bend down and get onto the mat. Rolling forward is not good at all if you've got a weak back. So we're just bending down, getting onto the mat, putting our hands here, all fours, and then sit back with wide knees into a child's pose. And can you immediately feel the lovely stretch in your lower back here? And from here, just wiggle side to side. So you're moving your hips slowly, side to side, which is really stretching out that lower back. Brilliant. And then from here, we're going to go onto all fours for a cat stretch. Now today, again, because of weaker backs, we're not going to go deep. We're just going to go arching up. Raise your core in, pinch your pelvic floor and arch up, and then just go back to a flat back. Now, if your back is fine, you can do this hollowing, but we're just concentrating on stretching out the back of the back. We're not putting any pressure on the lower back, so just go flat, most of you, and up again. From here, tuck your toes under, raise your core, and push up into the dog stretch. Push back on the arms. So feel the stretch between the shoulder blades. 
and then back down onto the knees again. So we're going to do those three moves um, in a little sequence, and we'll do them a couple of times. Yeah, so start off in your child's pose. So this little sequence is recalibrating the spine and hopefully setting you up for your week ahead. So just wriggling side to side. Then back to all fours where you're going to arch up to the ceiling. And go flat. We'll do three of those. Brace your core and arch up to the ceiling. Really make an angry cat shape. And back. Then one more of those. Brace your core and arch up. Lovely. Now tuck your toes under. Brace your core and lift up. Push it back. Brilliant. And back down again. So slow, controlled movements. Sitting back on the heels for the last time. Wiggle side to side. And before we come up, we're going to add in the shoulder stretch. So pop one arm underneath, so you're poking the arm through, and then lift that arm up. So lift it up to the ceiling very slowly. Now, you might not get up to the ceiling, and weaker shoulders, don't go too far. So just here, we would be fine. Don't push or overstretch. Then pop it down again. Unfold yourself and go the other way. Feeling that stretch around your shoulder blades. If you're able, lift the arm. And pop it down again. Now onto all fours for that cat stretch. So we're arching up. <laughs> and flatten out. Then brace your core again to arch up. Flatten out, tuck your toes under, brace your core again, and lift, pushing back. So we have just stretched the back of the body there. Lovely. Okay, back down again. We're going to twist ourselves and go onto your back. Lovely. So rolling down on your side if your back's not feeling good this morning, and we're going to simply hug the knees. Brilliant. So as you exhale, pull the knees into the chest. All of these stretches are great, but gosh, this is a good one. So by pulling the knees into the um, chest, you're stretching the back of the body again. So you're really feeling the stretch in your lower back. Then place one hand on each knee, if you weren't already, and draw a circle so you decide if this is tender, just go gingerly, or you can just keep pulling the knees into your chest. But if you can, draw a circle. Exhaling as you pull the knees into your chest. That's it. And then the other direction. Fabulous. Now pull one leg into the chest and stretch the other leg away. So pull it in and then let your knee drop open to the side. Good work. Simple stretches, simple and effective. Now antipostnatal, you stay right there. Others, put the other hand on the knee and twist. Now you can lift the buttock off. But you, you decide on the twist, we're stretching our lower backs. Look the other way at this arm that is stretched out and you decide on the twist. If your back's particularly bad, don't go very far. Okay, others will get a good twist here. Brilliant, and return. Pull that knee into the chest. Pull it in, then let it drop open to the side. And then swap hands, other arm out to the side, look at that arm, and you decide again on the twist. So some of you will really go for it with the twist. Weaker backs or tenderness today, just gently. Brilliant. We're gonna now turn around. Time is flying, as always. 
when you're having fun, right? Yeah? <laughs> and then I want to just finish off with one really strengthening exercise. So if you've got a bad back, you know the physio says do, do five minutes a day of practice. This one is the one I would go for. So personally, on all fours, lift one arm and the opposite leg, bracing your core as you lift so that you don't arch your back. If you performed this for five minutes every day, the back of your body would strengthen up, okay? The exercise is lying face down, create an arch in your back, a curve which might not be comfortable. So if you're a bit wobbly, you can keep swapping like this, or you can just concentrate on maybe 15 each side. Brace your core on the way up. Pinch your pelvic floor and exhale on the way up. There's never a competition about how high you can lift. It's just literally getting you balancing. So you're working your core and you're strengthening the whole back of the body. Brilliant. So that's my, that's my advice of the day. If you've got a weak back, please do that exercise every day and just see what happens. Right, tuck your toes under. Brace your core, pinch your pelvic floor, one more dog stretch. Feel that stretch at the back of the body, bend one knee, then the other. And then like I said, because I'm assuming most of you have got a sore back, if you're doing this, we're going to now bend and get up like this. I would normally roll up, fold it forward, but I don't want you to do that because you might have a sore back. Right, lovely. Big stretch up, bend your knees down, brace your core to come up. Bend the knees down, one more, and there you go. There we are, all woken up, ready to go. Have a fabulous day, and uh, do get in touch if you'd like any more advice or would like to do any more exercises or longer sessions. Brilliant, see you soon, bye.